Hi there, this is Chris with Peace of Mind, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another little bit. I believe this is number 15. Um, I'll have to look it up, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 15. And uh, in these videos I just show you just a little bitty project for you to work on. Um, this one is, and I've seen it on several channels lately, <clears throat> especially the one on uh, Ruby and Pearl. So if you want to see her, kind of her take on it, you can go there. Um, it's a really feminine, pretty uh, way that she does it. And um, it's using modeling paste. And what I do is I... If I do modeling paste on old, uh, like, like vintage pieces or book pages, music sheets, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Here I did them on some tags. Let me show you some of my other. Oh, here's some more. A couple more that I did with the modeling paste on book pages. And you can either double it on the paper or you could tear this if you just wanted to use this part of it. On this one I did make a like a journaling card. Also has a little pocket on it on the front. And I made a little tag to go in there that says best day ever. And then when you open it up, I, I have made a, um, th used this little pink dotted uh, scrapbooking paper to uh, adhere on there to have a journaling spot. So, on this one, I did go over it with some, with some ink, walnut stain. Um, let me show you on this one. Actually, when I first used the stencil, it had some some colors already in it, so I just I just left it in there. It kind of made pink, and then I had a little bit of a uh, like a, a photo anti photo color ink, so I just left it on there. And all this was was a uh, the uh, front page of the scrapbooking paper that showed what different what different ones it came with. So I just cut it up. And I'm using it to make some tags. And also, I might also use these for, for bookmarks. Okay, so let me just show that uh, on a couple, I'm just going to show you the general process of putting on the, the modeling paste, which is not all that hard to do. Um, I'm using the Liquid Tex Basic Acrylic Modeling Paste. You can use any kind of modeling paste. Uh, Ruby and Pearl used uh, spackling, spackling paste. Um, <clears throat> I got this at Hobby Lobby. You just want to put a small amount out. You don't want to have too much out because it dries up pretty fast. Okay, and then what you do is you need a stencil or a couple of stencils to choose from. I think I'm going to use uh, the rose stencil on this one and uh, what I really need is to see if I can could get a, a, a smaller row stencil but I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and use this one and you just take the spackling paste I'm using a palette knife just use a regular kitchen knife if you want butter knife an old one of course just for crafts I'm going to go over this rose my spackling paste. And if you can see where you've missed spots, you can go back over it again. And then smooth it out. I'm going to go down here and kind of right over this, this lace part here. Get. 
Okay, and we'll lift it off. Turned out nice. I have a, a rose on that card. And depending on how um, dark the background is, it, it shows up a lot better. Just the white shows up a lot better. Um, but I kind of like the muted effect of it too. If on a um, say like on here, let's try one on he on on this paper. Let me see here. I need some more modeling paste. When you when you get finished, you are going to need to um, clean your stencils right away so that they don't get so it doesn't dry on there and, and catch in the the places where you uh, in the in the spaces of the. Let's see, I, I'm trying to get this rose centered here. Excuse me a second. You just want to have it cleaned up pretty well. You can still leave some on the surface of the stencil, but um, you want to get it off the, the edges so it doesn't dry on there and cause that stencil not to work the next time. When you peel it up, then just kind of take it up and go. It might turn out pretty. I like that. And then it usually takes about, I would let it dry for about a half an hour before you um, add anything else to it or before you go over it with some, um, some ink. So I'll put those aside. Also, if you wanted to, um, another thing you could use is if you have like extra spackling or something, um, I would just, you know, and maybe like, okay, here's a book page that I've got. I would maybe just like use it to clean off. Whoops. clean off onto a, a book page and it kind of gives it a maybe a look like it's been gessoed and let that dry and then you can put something over the top of that and have a paper towel handy to wipe off your your knife you want to keep that clean because it dries very quickly I got this at Hobby Lobby also, this palette knife. Okay, and then I quite can wipe this this down. Oh, see, I got I got some that came off onto the wax paper. That looks pretty. I don't know if you can see that or not. Isn't that pretty? Actually I could have I should have cleaned that off on another piece of paper. I, I guess I could still use the uh, that that section of wax wax paper as well. And that's that's enough cleaning to get rid of that uh, that stuff. Okay, let's take one of these that I've done and uh, decorate it so I can show you how that looks. This one that I did, and then I went over it with some uh, with some ink, so that it showed up a little bit better. This is just one sheet, not folded over. And I took some parchment paper. This this I also got at Hobby Lobby. It's it uh, comes in a package. I think it's like eight sheets or ten sheets or something. And it's 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 sort of got a nice feel to it. It's the, <coughs> excuse me. It's the old-fashioned uh, parchment paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this in here. 
and I have folded this up to make a pocket. I haven't actually glued it yet because I want to glue this down first. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue. This isn't coming out very well, so I'm going to clean it a bit. as if I need to fill this up again. I'd be surprised though how much, I mean this fits a lot in here and how long it, it really lasts between fillings. I, I have some more of these bottles in uh, sizes that are similar to this, maybe a little bit uh, bigger. And what I should probably do is just fill a couple of them at a time in case I run out on a video. Trying to fit this in. Put it down. And then I can also glue both edges of this little pocket. Hold that down for a minute. And you'll notice actually this part of the paper was already turned down like that, but you can also you can also do that yourself. And you could you could even like rip it on the edges kind of give it that give it that torn look okay then all I have to do on that one is is uh, I think I would probably wait until I put it in a journal to determine what um, what I was going to put in the pocket but I would probably glue this down to a page, maybe have this be a be an opening here in a journal, or just use this as a little card instead of a, um, in, in maybe as a greeting card and put a little put a little note in here to the person for whatever occasion they're celebrating. It's always fun to give somebody something like this instead of a store bought greeting card. They really appreciate it and, and actually it's something that they're not going to throw away. Okay, let's see. Show you this, show you this other one. Let me show you how to, how to ink this up a bit. Like I said, you can leave them just white but they show up a lot better against a light background if you if you give them a little bit of ink. And then of course I would also put some ink on this on this edge. Here is a um have a lavender paper that would be pretty on there. You can also, if you want, if you want this modeling paste to be a to be a color, you can mix. Since it's acrylic, you can just mix it with acrylic paint, you know, on your uh, wax paper or your palette or whatever, and you can just mix mix it like that. Let's see. I think I want 
this side up. Okay. I love making these. They're so easy. They're very uh, quick. Um, you do have to kind of make them in two steps because you have to do the the uh, you have to wait for them to dry, but they don't take long to dry. About maybe fifteen minutes. I might just put this on here, not as a pocket, just as a. And then I put some kind of, you know, something else on there. I did finish the bee journal, and I'm going to show that in some other videos. But this this uh, little bits might go up before the the bee journal is is. Uh, shown on camera completely. I like to kind of mix it up so you guys don't get bored. Okay, and then also what I could do on here is I could make this into a, kind of a Kind of a, kind of a, uh, a notepad and, and glue some uh, papers up here. I don't know if I have. <clears throat> Excuse me. To trail up. I don't know if that would fit on there. That would be pretty on one of these too. I might. Uh, I might put that on this one, or on the inside of it. be pretty. I always save my bits of stuff so I have I have things to uh oh, I left that one. Is that the same? No I think that's different. It's also with, uh, a tag I mean a label you could put that on there too. It, you know possibilities are endless. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you'll check back on some of my other videos and see what I'm doing. Like I said, I have the, the bee journal stuff up. Once again, here's the, the uh, stuff that I used. Thank you. I wish you peace of mind. Bye now.